English time, my people. Let's do this. How you doing, guys? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Very good. What's up, Alex? How's everything? Everything is okay. Nice. Very good. Nice to hear you. You're home. You're home today early. Yes. Yes. I take my my uh, I take my cautions or mm -hmm. your cautions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to be uh -huh. what do you take are you talking in present in routines or what are you talking about future yes. past in present I take in present no you you're talking no. in past you present talk. past Present past? No, there's no something else. Present past. Or recent. Present, recent. Present. Past. Recent. Recent. Ah, recent. Recent past. I recent past structure six. I have taken. I have taken. Okay, my case. Uh, yes. 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 Okay. The, the, the something I was selling in the morning uh, to one of of my students was. The time expression is more important than the time, than the verb, sorry. I repeat, mm. the time expression is more important than the verb. Because the time expression determines the time. Okay. Not the opposite. It's not the verb determining the time. No, no, no. It's the time determining the verb. Okay. So, take measures. Do you take measures every day? Did you take measures in the past or will you take measures in the future? Which one okay. do you want to communicate? Mm, I have taken no. Actually, you said the structure six, but I think for this specific case is structure three. Is I took. I took, okay, yes. Because you're talking about today. A specific day. Yes, but not. Uh, but but it's recently my my. Recent, my not recently. Uh, oh, it's recent. It's recent. Yes, but the, the the thing about recent is when you use the recent structure when you are affecting some or when it's very very necessary to specify that the importance of the reason okay okay you know in this moment it's not important to say i recently decided you know yes, yes. that's not okay. a decision you took it's something that you did today and today is is in the past yes you see okay it's about context the matter is about context right well, good. Right. good job. Very nice to hear you here. Very nice to have you here. What about the rest? What about Rafael? What about Isaac? Is everything good? I'm not the chair. Yes, everything is good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Because let's, it's time to get ready for our listening cycle. So, <clears throat> we were talking about sports, and this is the video that we are going to talk about. No? We need to. Express some things, teacher. I'm going to continue with the uh, ah, okay, okay. the chat. So we are going to listen to the video one last time. Make sure that you have your vocabulary, your vocabulary with you. So if you don't have it yet, take a screenshot of this uh, slide because this is the vocabulary that we needed to study during the weekend. Let me go for a pen because we will need to take some notes. Also, you too, take a pen because you are going to take notes about the video during the play. Let me find my pen. Ready? 
iridium. Yes or no, guys? Hello. Yes. All right. Well, let's listen to the video one last time. You've probably asked the question before. iPhone or Android? Apple Maps? Several years back when the Rays made it to the World Series, they handed out uh, cowbells. That's when you kind of second guess your career. <laughs> it's just, there's only so much you can do when 30,000 people are all hitting cowbells. <laughs> the sounds inside a stadium can be unpredictable. But parked outside every major sports event in a semi-truck full of broadcast TV workers, there's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. They're called A1 mixers, and they're hired by the network that's broadcasting the game. Basically, the easiest way to describe what it is I do is everything you hear at home in the broadcast I'm responsible for other than commercials. That means they mix the music, the announcers, the interviews. Said it was a great call. But it also means this and this, and this. If you just went and looked at a World Series game from, you know, 1980, and then you looked at, like, last year's World Series, it would be painfully obvious. Double play ball, ball one, cinch, two. At second and out at first. Third that takes a lot of work. To capture the ambience of the space, they point stereo microphones into the crowd. But we don't want to just be placed among the crowd. We want to hear the sounds of the game itself. And that requires microphones near the action to capture what they call field effects. So I currently run uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I run 10 on-court effects mics. If you're sitting in the stands, you might not hear the sound of the net. But for viewers at home, there's a little microphone taped right under the basket. In baseball, the key sounds are clustered around home plate. You see all the advertising boards, but there's also two little Blue Jays logos. And in those logos are parabolic dishes. And that's what I use to capture all the sounds around home plate. Parabolic microphones use a dish to focus sound waves from far away. For big budget games like the World Series, you can see those mics around home plate too, but the setup becomes much more elaborate. They put wireless mics in the bases. They have handheld parabolics out in foul ball territory, and they wire up the outfield wall. The track, it is off the wall. Welcome back, Kyle Schwarber with a two out double. Unbelievable. We actually started uh, a couple years ago burying mics in the grass. And, and in the infield. So you can hear like some guys like Max Scherzer, they really kind of grunt when they release the pitch. And uh, we also put mics on the foul poles. Some of them are like a real fun, kind of cannon sound like at Fenway Park. Near the pole, home run, it's harder to capture field effects when the players roam around a big field. You just hope that they're close to your mics. You've got a huge field with 15 guys running on grass. A handheld parabolic mic can do a better job following the action, and that's long been the standard for NFL games. And when Fox came along, they put a mic on the umpire, and we were using that to pick up the cadence of the quarterback and the line coming together, and that was huge. The umpire was getting run over a lot and to keep him from getting hurt they moved his physical position from being on the defensive line to being on the offensive line well that doesn't help me at all because now he's behind the quarterback the next year the nfl players union agreed to let the league put microphones on certain offensive linemen hey, Scarecrow, Travolta, Travolta, Michelle, 
can't wait to see what Travolta brings us. Depending on who's mixing, it could be way up in the mix. I've been called on that because it's like candy, and I love it. Car making sure everybody's on the same page. Express! First and goal. Those quarterback audibles are the only times they'll take a mic'd up player live during the game. I'm sure you've seen the games, basketball games, where we mic up players. Uh, we mic up the head coach. Those mics will never be tracked live. If it goes to tape, somebody reviews it, and then it gets played back later. Uh, I think I've shot enough threes for today. I think both mics quite as well as I would have liked. But the effects mics can pick up angry players, too. If something's getting heated on screen, I will, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll kill those mics. I want people to be able to hear, um, but, you know, I got to be careful. The A1 is constantly adjusting levels throughout the game, and not just to keep the show family friendly. You know, a lot of people would have the thought process that you just set up these mics and you just leave them be, and you don't. I mean, you can't. I mean, you're talking 20, you know, 18, 20,000 people screaming, you got the PA sounds. So if you just leave all these microphones up, you're not going to get anything. So you're chasing the action with the, with the faders on the, on the mixing boards. The game effects in hockey come from 10 microphones taped inside the glass, and the mixer will fade them up and down to follow the play. They can get those effects to pop even more by tweaking the EQ or equalization. Most people would look, know it as like a car stereo. You turn up your highs, your treble, and your bass. Well, in our world, it's a little bit more specific than that. We can dial into actual specific frequencies. So they'll tend to increase uh, the high frequency EQs and turn down the low frequency. You don't want that rumble. So you want to hear the skate blades. You want to hear the sticks. You want to hear the pucks off glass. You want to hear them off the post. But all those efforts can be drowned out by the A1's arch nemesis, the PA system in the arena. If I could find PA people and beat them with a wooden stick sometimes, I would. The NBA is just horrific because they run, you know, they run the PA during play, you know. The PA will bleed into all the mics in the building. But the audio team is always there, battling the noise on our behalf. You should be able to hear the announcers, follow what they're saying. The game should be below that, and you should be able to hear everything that's going on in the game without struggling. It takes a lot of work to do that if we do it right. If you're into sport, it's a great video. I love it. So, here are the questions. Take notes about them and let me know if you know any of the answers here. Okay, answer number one, what well, question number one, sorry, would be What is an A1 mixer? Number two, how do they capture field effects? Number three, can people watching live hear the basket on a basketball game? Number five, number four, sorry. What's the audio setup on a basketball game? Number five, how can we hear the defense line on an American football game? Defense? Yes. <laughs> How can we hear the defense line? No, can we hear the line? On the American football game. What's the name of the line? It's a uh, scrimmage line? Alex knows this. this. Scrimmage? Yes. What line, scrimmage. sorry? The, the scrimmage line, precisely, that's the name. Mm. You know the one on the American football when when they when they go down. Yes. The name of and that the, line. The center. Uh, uh, 
launch the ball. Exactly. Uh, launches, launches. Launches. Okay. Ajá. Scrimmage. Yes, 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 yes. I, I almost forgot the name. Number six. <laughs> What were, no, what was the inconvenience on my, my king up, my king, my, my king, yes, on my king up, the for free. American football game. Yeah. Number seven. Why aren't voices broadcasted online? Broadcasted live. Two more. What's the audio setup? And a hockey game. And finally, what's the A1 mixer's enemy? Biggest enemy. Read these questions and let me know if you remember any of the answers. Let's start with Isaac. Do you know any of the answers here? Uh, no, no one. Anyone? Come on, not even one. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the first one was a a one mixer. I think that this person is in charge of uh, like handle all the all the sounds that they are like capturing and is in a kind of machine. Mm -hmm. Or well, I, I don't know how they. It is called that maybe a mixer or something like that. Mixer probably, yes, it's all the all the, all the sound control. Yes, but I think that this uh, kind of engineer, maybe engineer. Nice. Sure, of course, of course. Uh -huh. If yeah. they should be engineers and experts in the field, yes, of course. Yep. <laughs> good, 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 good. So you are using your own words in this case. Ah, that's yes. perfect. That's exactly ideal. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank what you. else? Any uh, other that you remember? Yes, the Me. second one, how they capture field effects. I think that they put mics around the, the field. For example, in the hockey, I don't know how the hockey field, they tape the, um, the microphones around the glass. And I remember, right. I remember the, in the baseball games, they, there are some kind of special mics. I don't remember the name. Parabolic. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know. I don't remember the the, the name. But uh, these uh, mics are uh, like around the the pillows. Exactly. Good job. Good. Good job. Yes, you have some of the of the answers right. You went. You jumped directly up to the hockey. The hockey section, and, and yes. in the video, it's very interesting that they start explaining by sports. Like first, they explain basketball, then they explain uh, baseball, baseball, uh -huh. and they go one by one. That's a very, a very nice one. Very good. What about um, what about Alex? Do you remember anything about other sports? Yes. Uh... Example in the basketball, uh, they put a, a microphone uh, that uh, under the the support of the basket. Right, 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 right. On the support of the basket, which which answers question number uh, three. Three. Oh. Aha, exactly. That is question number three. Question number three asks about people watching live. Can people watching live hear the basket? Mm. Yes. 
Okay, in a moment we are going to answer that one. Because the answer is actually no. In a no. moment we are going to see why. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, okay, in a moment let's go now with Rafa. Do you remember anything about other sports? Yes, teacher. What do you have? The number six, for example. Hmm. Um, they tried to to put microphones uh, with the with the with the referee. Mm -hmm. But the problem uh, was uh, the referees were were very close, mm -hmm. and they they were pushed by the fo American football the players. players. <laughs> that is so correct. Yes, 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 yes. And, and in the in the video we have a synonym. They didn't use the word push. They use a phrasal verb. That's why it's very interesting to me this question because you can get more vocabulary. Now, what is the pronunciation pushing past? Uh, push it. Uh, uh If you have. Do you have your structures handbook? Yeah. With you? Go to the pronunciation section of regular verbs, these ones. Okay. Right? And here you have three pronunciations. The verb push is in number one. If the verb has a voiceless sound at the end, what is a voiceless sound? A voiceless sound is a consonant that has no, where you don't emit your voice. You only produce a sound, for example. Push. Exactly, man. Pushed. Okay. Uh, Makes sense, no? That can help you with pronunciation. Very good job, guys. Well. Let's go through it. Can Sylvie speak or is she on her way? Uh, I think uh, she's on her way. Awesome. So then let's start with number one, Isaac Solis. Let's go. Hello. So let's start with you. It's uh, answer question number one. Only so much you can do when 30,000 people are all hitting cowbells. <laughs> the sounds inside a stadium can be unpredictable. But parked outside every major sports event in a semi-truck full of broadcast TV workers, there's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. They're called A1 mixers, and they're hired by the network that's broadcasting the game. What information did you catch, Isaac? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Well, I think that the the answer starts uh, when they mention that there is an engineer uh, nice. in, in the, the truck or something like this uh, that is called uh, a a one mixer or something like that. Right? Okay, and that's it, no? Yeah, all right. Perfect. Yes. Good. So that's a paraphrasis of what they said. Now, yes. the um, this question is very interesting to me because in the format of questions in the exam, uh, mm -hmm. the the first certificate usually tells you all the information, and then at the end. They tell you, and that's an A1 mixer. Okay, so yes. it's like, oh my God, I didn't pay attention to the previous information. And that was the answer because I was expecting that the answer yes. was next after. This is a very classic deep, uh, trick in the Cambridge exams. So okay. very classic. Uh -huh. So try to get all that information. Okay, let's go again. Yes. They're called A1 engineer tax event in a semi-predictable. 
But parked outside every major sports event in a semi-truck full of broadcast TV workers, there's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. There Uh, well, I, I think that, uh, well, I don't know. I'm not sure if it starts uh, since it, but I, I hear that uh, like park ups, outside of the major sport events or something like that. Okay. There it is. Part of? No, what? park. Park. Uh, park outside? Park. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Park of the, outside of the major sport events. Uh, that's it, I think. That's it. Okay. Before we go to the final chance, I want yeah. to make two observations. Yes. Number one, here you have double connectors. We said something important about connectors last time. Never use two prepositions together. Yes. Right? I think that this is just outside. Exactly. If yeah. you are going to choose one, choose the one that you heard. Yes. <laughs> and the other one is the word major. When you're talking about major sport events, this is not similar to say, like the outside the major sports events. It's, how can I tell you, contradicting the word parked outside. Because parked outside speaks about only one. And the major sports events talk about plural. Okay. Then we need to fix grammatically, there is a mistake that we need to fix about number. Okay. And the, the correction, can go yes. on the the problem is here the word the either it's incomplete or it's uh, it's unnecessary okay yes okay uh, that is not... yes tell me tell me sorry yeah i think that in this case it is not necessary to add the uh -huh. yes because we are talking like in general no Yes, exactly. Part uh -huh. yep. outside major sports events. And it's also talking in general and talking in plural. Yes. That's right. So we should omit this one over two. Now let's listen and let's confirm. <laughs> They're called there's parked out inside a stadium can be unpredictable. But parked outside every major sports event in a semi-truck full of broadcast TV workers, there's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. <laughs> no, I, I just, yeah, I have the information, but I don't remember the exact words. Take a note, take notes, take notes. Yeah, I, I try, but it's I, I'm not surprised yet. <laughs> <laughs> Either memory plus memory plus plus writing yes um well uh, I, I don't remember they mentioned something about the broadcast but actually i don't remember okay. exactly the, the definition of that word mm. i remember that it's in our vocabulary mm -hmm. number 14. number four. Oh my god i have it twice <laughs> No. Oh, and the one that I have is in the number four is, oh, let me check. Number four is make it. Number four is make it? Oh, so you don't have the new version. No, I think that I'm using a previous one maybe. Yeah, uh -huh. I modified it on, but I told you to screenshot. It was I... modifications. Uh, then I have it in my computer and not it myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh -huh. Let me open it. Mm -hmm. Let me send it to you again. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, 
broadcast is a send out program of television or radio. Yes, okay, it's a verb. Uh, <laughs> but no, I don't remember the more words than just that broadcast. Uh, I, no, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. You got lost. You got lost yes. in the. Uh -huh. The problem okay. is that. They are using very basic structures. It's person verb complement, person verb club, and everything is very normal. But the concepts are very long. You have four yes. or five words describing only one thing. So I know, I know why you got lost. Makes sense. Okay, so let's go then with Alex. Alex, fix the sentence so you can get all the information. Okay. First shot. Several years back. Unpredictable. But parked outside every major sports event in a semi truck full of broadcast TV workers, there's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. Okay. Um, um, can I listen again? Are you sure you don't want to use some words before you listen? You listen again? Yes, I I burn my card, second card. All right, let's go. There's Parked outside every major sports event in a semi-truck full of broadcast TV workers, there's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. Uh, uh, park, it out, uh, park it outside major, no, park it outside every major. Perfect. Yes. Our major sports events there. Events. Say something about the truck. Say something about the truck. And broadcast. Truck and broadcast. But you, we don't know the position of these words. Okay. In the truck. Okay, there is an um, engineer in the truck and it's called Sirs. Uh, park it outside the major sports event. Y luego era lo del truck. Sí, and... Uh, truck. So you say in major sports events and the truck is here, no? In this position? Yes. So we mm -hmm. remove the truck here? Yes, truck is, is, is first and engineer nice. uh, second. And uh, I don't remember the exact word, but. Uh, exact, not exact. They are, they are the. The, the people who made possible to 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 listen the the, the sounds, but uh, that's paraphrasing. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, can I listen again? That's your third chance. All right. Yes. Let's go. You can do when 30,000 people are all hitting cowbells. <laughs> the sounds inside a stadium can be unpredictable. But parked outside every major sports event in a semi truck full of broadcast TV workers, there's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. Okay, that's a major sports event. Mm. 
There, there's an an audio engineer. There's an audio engineer. Uh -huh. Okay. Proc, so there's an audio engineer. There's an audio engineer. So we only need yes, that's this. There's. There is an audio engineer. Uh -huh. There is an audio engineer and it's called. Um, yes. That's it? No, no, no. Uh, there is an audio engineer and the last part. Uh, uh, that's good with there is an audio engineer that's good nice that's good bringing those that, that those sounds okay very good that that part and... was good but what, be careful with the pronunciation because if you pronounce it correctly, you mm -hmm. will never going to catch information when you hear it. Okay. Task is in past. What is the verb of task in past? Task in past. Task is not task. Yeah, but that task. sounds different. It's very different to say task kit and task. Okay. okay. You see? And the reason mm -hmm. is that when you pronounce a syllable where it doesn't correspond, you are probably speaking a different word. Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? Yes. Then pronunciation will affect the, the comprehension directly. Okay. Right? That information is in the handbook oh. right so can you pronounce it again okay dust mm -hmm. dust there is an engine audio engineer dust dust much better bringing the bringing those sounds nice do you yes. want to make any correction before we pass uh Forget outside every major sport. Ah, the. Uh, in the middle of truck and. And there. Ah, uh, don't tell me position. Read complete ideas. Okay. Something truck. Uh, Something truck. What? Uh, full of broadcast. I'll go see. Something. Okay. Full of, of broadcast. broadcast. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is another one. No. Which of um, course, uh -huh. um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, just All right. that information. That's good. Uh, that's perfect. So that's those are the words that you heard. No. Yes, I, I try to write the uh, uh, the, the words that I listen and uh, and then uh, formula. Uh, uh, formulate formulate uh, sentences okay what? that's the second part that I am worried about the second part is not complete because you are not giving me sentences mm. mm -hmm. if you say 
truck full of broadcast. Broadcast is a un, an uncountable noun. You cannot have something full of broadcast because broadcast is uncountable. Mm. You see, so th there is something that doesn't match here. Full of broadcast? No. That's not the problem. Mm. The problem is that you're talking about an uncountable noun. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You cannot feel something of uncountable stuff. Or probably, no, yes, because you can say full of water, full of sugar. No, 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 that's not the observation. The observation is that broadcast, let's talk about the verb. In the vocabulary, broadcast is a verb. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So then, full of broadcast, you cannot f make something full of a verb. Then we need a massive correction here. Okay. What do you think is a truck full of? Uh... People then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Full of pro broadcast engineers, so or... exactly. So probably the word that you need mm -hmm. here is engineer. Okay. No. And what type of engineer? Audio engineer. Audio engineer. This information mm -hmm. is here. So probably you need to erase this section. Now it makes more sense. Okay. Doesn't it? Or not? Um. I don't know because I don't uh, have uh, the complete information. Just words in, in without a sense. Well, that's exactly the thing. You need to use the information that you have with the, with the information that Isaac gave and put it together. Okay. Don't ignore the information that you had before. You know what I mean? Pay attention to the previous student because the previous student will help you complete the sentence. Okay. You see what I mean? That's yes. It. All right. So let's keep it over here and let's go now with, with Rafa. Let's go first shot. With the same question. What again? Is we the, the same question? Yeah, we haven't finished. Okay. This is not finished yet. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. But parked outside every major sports event in a semi-truck full of broadcast TV workers, there's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. Um, I want to erase. Ah. The and it's called an A1 meter. Nice, exactly. Uh, you have the correction? Yeah, yeah. Um, um uh, ah, I for I forgot it. Um don't worry. <laughs> yes. but, but, but I, I have I have other other um other part of brokers. Ah, believe it. No 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 um no. um how 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 many times I will watch the video three times three times you have one mm. okay um 
Okay. Teacher, I I need to to write because I forget. Yes. Sure, 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 sure. Write right. it. Whichever uh, whichever is less distracting. If your memory, if you don't trust your memory, write. If writing is distracting, then only memory. But it, it is a personal choice. Totally personal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ready? Almost ready. And ready. Let's go. They're parked outside every major sports event in a semi truck full of broadcast TV workers. There's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. Um, give me a moment. Yeah, uh, the the last phrase is um, into a living room. In your, yeah, a living room. A living room? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I think a one meter uh, isn't there. Oh, that's the the sentence after this. Ah, okay. That's for the next part. I had so ignore this section. And uh, after broadcast, uh, full of broadcast is in TV brokers. Okay, broadcast TV brokers. Brokers, yeah. TV like brokers. Like audio engineer. Like audio engineer. Okay. Mm. That's a good connection. Uh, okay, but I need to listen, listen it again. Yes, of course. Before we pass to the next repetition, I have a suggestion for everybody. I see that everybody is totally obsessed with getting all the information in one shot when we have tested several times and that's impossible <laughs> you know like to be honest it's impossible to catch the full information in one shot why don't you focus on directly the next information that you need for example you have parked outside every major sports event all this information is already it's exactly the same as the video. Do you agree? The first line. Parked outside every major sports event matches the video. Do you agree or you disagree? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Then why don't you focus here before anything else? Uh, well, I think that I try to do that, <laughs> but when I miss that part, I try to, I, I like, how to say? Like how say uh, when you cannot like continue, get I, lost. Like yes, I get you, lost. Oh, you get stuck. Yes, that that one. I I got stuck. Mm. Uh, so so I did that. Uh, it didn't work for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that can be a um, that can be a oh uh, yes. It it is also a personal issue because I remember. <laughs> 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 no with you <laughs> I don't talk about that no 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 I'm talking about it's a personal choice that was the better word 
a personal choice okay. because some people have the ability to hear the next part and then forget the rest uh -huh. you know? yes. and then on the other side you have some people that can they catch found the culture. yes they found me <laughs> They can catch several portions of information and then connect it at the end. So there are like two approaches in this exercise. Yes. Which one, in the case of Isaac, you are the second one, not the second case? Because mm, hey, uh, any of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, none. None is none. contrary of both. He just don't catch me. <laughs> I catch the idea or nothing they want <laughs> that you want <laughs> very well okay we, that's a lost cause okay <laughs> and then i think because of the thing you you told me you are in the second side yeah i maybe. think alex is in the second side too like catching different points and then connecting and connecting it at the end and in the case of rafa i see the same so if what if we try the opposite side who knows probably that the second the, the opposite side can help you better you know try to get this information before we get the rest okay we will try yes. it again uh -huh. let's try again okay third repetition let's go there, there's an outside every major sports event in a semi truck full of broadcast TV workers. There's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. In the same? Yeah. Uh, uh, park it outside every major sport event in the same truck full of broadcast. In the same, I think I think so. Yeah, that one is nope. Phonetically doesn't match. Grammatically also in the same truck. You haven't mentioned another truck, so we still have issues here. And you said something important, Rafa. You said event and not events. Is it singular? Yeah. I agree. Uh -huh. How did you catch that? Or you didn't notice? Because they, <clears throat> they say it in every exactly singular. Every time you say every, you need to mention the noun in singular form. Everyone, that's the reason the expression everyone or everybody exists, because it's, yes, it's plural, but you need to refer to the singular now. Yeah. Every breath you take, that's a song. Every move you make, move is singular. Breath is singular. You see? And that's it. Do you have any more information later? No, teacher. That's it. Let's, before we pass uh, to Sylvie, let's check this word. The word brokers. You are familiar with the word brokers, right? Because of your career. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But that's, in this context, there's no sense on TV brokers, right? But there is a word that sounds similar. What is the name of a person who works on the TV? Workers. Um, <laughs> that sounds similar to brokers, but it's more appropriate because of context. Yeah. So you forgot context for a moment. Yeah, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. That truck full of broadcast TV workers, like audio engineer, audio engineer uh, Juan Perez or 
how many auto are you talking about singular and a specific audio engineer? Engineers? Exactly. You saw in the in the video many 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 people in the same place. Yeah. Therefore, we needed the plural, not the singular. That was a some some correction for the three for Rafa, for Alex, and for Isaac, because you said engineer singular. Right. Okay. That's the way. All right, Sylvie, are you going to rescue the gentleman? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they have to rescue me. Okay, so let's listen one more I'm time. I'm not lost as all them. <laughs> very bad. Very, very bad. Let's go. Listen to first repetition. Workers. But the sounds inside a stadium can be unpredictable. But parked outside every major sports event in a semi-truck full of broadcast TV workers, there's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just hear something like sports, sport events. Okay. In, uh, in uh, something. <laughs> Sport events in a something. So you start, you got stuck here. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. There is a word that is correct. In a. These prepositions are super important to catch. Super important because I can understand only because you said in a. I can understand that we are talking about a location. Yes. Do you agree with me? Yes. So it's in a something full of broadcast TV workers. Yes. You have the context. What are we talking about in this mysterious world? Um, I listen to the audio again. Before we listen, check your context. What are we talking about? If it's parked, do you know what is parked? Yeah, but I think that there's another word before truck, and I think that uh -huh. the uh, truck is a thing that uh, parks. Uh -huh, the thing that parks. What if we are talking about the type of truck? Okay. You see, because there is no more information. You have in a and then truck. So the only option that we have here is a description of the truck. That's the only possible fitting word. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. Now let's listen. They're parked outside every major sports event in a semi truck full of broadcast TV workers. There's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. Maybe I don't know the word because I can't understand it. I just hear semi truck. Well, your phonetics matching is perfect. You don't need to know the word to pronounce it correctly. The word semi is spelled like this, S-E-M-I. Oh. <laughs> both, both of you. Yes, of course. The thing here, it's very interesting. Number one. You need to connect it with context, something that everybody is forgetting. What are we talking about? What is the positive, the possible word that can fit here? 
if it's an, an additional word that I needed, what type of the word I needed, is... you know? And the second, the second thing is your phonetics or your, the phonetic that you listen, you need to trust, trust the phonetics that you listen, even though you don't know the word. You know, semi is talking about a truck that is like smaller than a high that is semi, uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh. Semi means half. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Good job. Good, good job. Final repetition. Let's finish the sentence. Sylvia, you can do this. There's, there's parked outside every stadium can be unpredictable. But parked outside every major sports event in a semi truck full of broadcast TV workers, there's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. Uh, full of broadcast TV workers, there's an audio engineer. Yes. There's an audio engineer. Now it's singular, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, is this annoying? And I just concentrated. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so you are the type that gets stuck. Uh -huh. If you focus on only one section, then you're going to get stuck in the next. Mm -hmm. Both both of the, of the problems are very common, so it's about getting getting the strategy by yourself, but you're doing great. Okay, let's keep it over here. Let's give it a pause because Jesse is in the chat. Hello, Jess. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. So I will say attendance, please. Mike? Mike absent. All right, Rafael. Yes. Hello, Jesse. Uh, hi, Rafael. Thank you. Silvana? Hi, Jesse. I'm here. Hi, Silvana. Good night. Thank you. Isaac? Hello, here. Hi, Isaac. Thank you. And Alex. Hi, Jesse. Good night. Hi, Alex. Good night. Thank you. So, that's all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much, girl. Have a nice night. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Great. So let's keep it over here. Uh, Park outside every major sport event in a semi truck full of broadcast TV workers. There's an audio engineer. Let's finish the sentence. Alex. They parked outside every major sports event in a semi truck full of broadcast TV workers. There's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. There's an audio engineer with task bringing those sounds. With task bringing those sounds. So, into them, bring, yeah. ah, okay, yes. Into there or into a? Into your into living your, room. Uh, that, that word, that part is relevant, eh? Don't yes. assume that you finish the sentence. Say it complete into your living room. room. Sounds good. Sounds good. Now read the sentence again and tell me if it sounds correct. What part? The sentence. Read the, uh, the sentence. Uh, in a semi truck. Full of semi transition. In my... <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. Trust my... your okay. phonetics. That's exactly my point. Okay. See my truck. Pull a broadcaster to the worker. There's an audio engineer. Mm. 
No, I, I don't see the, the mistake. Or... Mm, then we need to check how do you understand English because there are some words that don't make sense. These two. There is an audio engineer with tasks. The connector with doesn't have anything to do here because okay. tasked is a description. A passive description is passive voice. Mm -hmm. So you have never seen passive voice with a connector with. Okay. Do you agree? Yes. There is an audio engineer who is tasked in this sentence? The, the audio engineer. The audio engineer, exactly. Then yes. there is a reason you understood with. Mm. Okay, don't, don't uh, consider you are incorrect because you are correct. The woman pronounced with. Mm -hmm. Then let's listen what happened. Second repetition. There's an audio engineer tasked with bringing those sounds into your living room. Um. Uh, um. What's the problem? What are you what are you thinking about? Okay. What? The, no 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Let me put my ideas in order. Okay. There's an audio engineer. The there's an engineer tasked. No pronunciation. The the oh sorry task. Okay. Uh huh. There's an engineer is. No. Sorry, I I read again. TV workers. There's an audio engineer tasked with uh -huh. bringing. Yes. With yes. Bringing. Tasked with. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Yes. Do you know why with? Because he is the in charge of bring the sound. He is. No? He is. The, the, the action is. Uh, the engineer is who's do the action, no? Who, who, who does? Who, who does, does the action? Uh, yes. Yes, but that's not my question. My question is why with? Um, no, I don't. We need your help, guys. Why with in this case? I think that this is because we are using task. Ta ta sorry, task. Pronunciation, exactly. Task. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we need to complete like the sentence, but uh, join with a, another action, no? Or the additional information. Okay, so you are speaking about the necessity of a connector. Yes, yes. Right? Very good. That's part of the answer. And why? Specifically, the connector with. <laughs> Let me help you because that's a chunk, also known as a collocation. 
to be tasked with something. Remember what a collocation is? Right? Do you remember what is a collocation, guys? Collocation? What is it? Yes. What? Something that sounds right. <laughs> Something that sounds right. <laughs> well, it has a. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, you um, teach us that with a cookie. Yes, that yes. is a, a mix uh, of um, many, well, maybe not many, but a different kind of words, but it makes sense. Exactly. This is a, a natural combination of words mm -hmm. in native English. Okay. Mm -hmm. A natural combination of words named uh, you're used by native people, native speakers. The connector that is the same. number one, you needed a connector. Task bringing, task bringing sounds, sounds weird. I need something. How do I know what specific connector I need? Consult the dictionary or listen to people using it. Automatically, you're going to get the chunk. Right? Bringing those sounds into your living room. They're called A1 mixers. And that's the answer. They're called A1 mixers. Jesus Christ, what a difficult, difficult part. But that's nice. That made you made you practice everything you have seen with me in one question. Everything is together in one question. Do you have any question right now? No, I skipped you. <laughs> Must have you. Very good. Well. Let's finish them for the moment. Uh, the other questions, of course, we need to, uh, to practice them. That can help. You can practice uh, this video using these questions, uh, using the same methodology. No subtitles, natural listening. Got it. Are we going to review this question uh, during the week or no? Just if you want to. I want, I, I want to pass to the next video because the next lessons uh, we lost already one class, so we need to go quickly. Okay, sure. So yes. we're gonna pass to the next video, but if you want to practice, you, you have these questions. Okay, sure. mm -hmm. thank you. Of course, brother. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. I will stay with Rafa, okay? Okay, see you. See you, see guys. You.